What's up everybody? Doing a quick video today to show you how to play not the intro, not the leads, but the rhythm tracks to Uncle Tom's Cabin uh, by Warrant. I feel like it's a highly underrated song and there's a lot of quirky things going on that people don't really pay attention to. There's plenty of videos showing you how to play the intro and the leads and stuff and they could do it way better than I could. So I'm just going to show you the rhythm parts that nobody really shows you. And um, one thing I will say about this song is there, there's some funky stuff going on, but also all three courses are a different chord progression. Um, they're different lengths. Same chords, just different progression, different lengths. And it's very odd to see in such a popular song, the choruses be three different things. Very, 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 very confusing. And I'm gonna do my best to clear this up for you. And um, I highly recommend tuning to a half step and playing along with the song once you learn the riffs. So I'm gonna play them at full speed and then I'll play them so slow so you can copy me. And I, again, I'm a half step down. So uh, here we go, let's give it a shot. See what I mean? It's already messed me up. But slow, here it is. So it's kind of a weird rhythm. So here we go again. I'll try playing at full speed. And these are just power chords. And I, they actually play it like regular power chords. But I don't like that as much. So I'm just playing them instead of. I like my version a little bit better. So it's more fun. So here we go again. Here's the verses at full speed. And that's just a D. So, for the most part, all the verses are that, except for the last one, it switches it up a little bit. So, the first course, here we go, play through the first course. So you hit that big D, and then it goes. Okay, the first verse, or first chorus slow, here we go. to the second verse which is okay same thing as the first verse second chorus here we go Okay, you might want to get a pen and write this down. So the second, the second chorus is C, G, and then the D, and then, and then the rhythm track goes. So 
So that's just a walk up power chord. And then it goes C, G, D, A. And then it goes C, G, D again. And then the next part is G, C, E, D, so it's, and then it's C, G, D again. And then it ends on an A. So again, that second chorus goes. It ends on the A there. Okay. Now the the part before the solo is it's just an E build up. So, that, my bad, so, let me start over again. I'm sorry. So the rhythm part under the solo is slow. Here we go. So it builds up on an E. So that's. And these are just power chords. So it's just a walk down on the A string, five, four, three, and then E, five, four, three. Then it goes back to chugging an E. So again, that when it goes down to the E, here's what it does. My bad. That's that's not right. <laughs> Told you I was gonna struggle with this. So again, when it goes to E, here's what it does. That's where I was messing up, my bad. So, and then after the. So it's. Then it goes 
back to the intro. So, the third and final verse after the intro, it, play, it plays that verse to the, the intro riff, and then it goes into the final part of the third verse. And uh, here's it all the way through, and then I'll break it down. So that's... <laughs> So the only thing that's different about that is instead of going back to the E, you go. And then it goes to the chorus. Uh, that, that's pretty simple. It's like the whole ACDC kind of thing. They do it all the time. Though. So uh, the third chorus, here we go. It's a doozy. And... Keep in mind that the bass is rolling a low E the whole time, like towards the end, so it gets so noisy and it's hard to hear what's going on. But this is what's going on, I believe. So here we go. Let me start that again. Okay, what a cluster. So uh, right off the bat, the first line's the same, and then after that it gets different. So the third and final chorus, here it goes. It goes C, G, D. The second line goes G, C, E, D. And then it goes C, G, D. Then it goes C, C, G, D. And then it goes G, D. So it's. And then it goes back to G, C, E, D. And then it's C, G, D. C, G, D, A. And that's the song. So again, the third chorus, here we go. the whole song wow is your mind fried like mine is i had to write down the chord progression because it's so weird and wonky but it works really well again it's not perfect i'm sorry i'm not better at guitar but that's a better explanation of what's going on in the rhythm track than you'll find anywhere else so uh, yeah, I hope that helps out for those that have been wanting to cover the song and are wondering what the hell is going on. It's bizarre. It's a killer song, though. Uh, yeah, once you learn the riffs, just go play along with the record and it'll make more sense, I promise. I don't have the technology to play the backing track and do all that mess. Nor do I have the patience. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. Have a good day.